Chapter 61 Give me back my egg, ox, dragon serpent egg you are listening at novelfull.audio. What is this? Ling Jiu picked up the giant egg as a look of confusion appeared in his eyes. If he remembered correctly, the Titan Tempest Ape was hugging it earlier. The Titan Tempest Ape was a class 5 dire beast. Why was it hugging a rock? A rock. It did look like a rock. Sir, that just as Ling Jiu was about to inspect the giant egg, Yang Gan rushed over and smiled. Sir, my apologies, we accidentally dropped something here. As he spoke, he pointed at the giant egg in Ling Jiu's hand. It went without saying that the giant egg in Ling Jiu's hand was the item he dropped earlier and hoped that Ling Jiu could return it to him. Your item. Ling Jiu scattered the osmium soil from his body, revealing his real look. Yang Gan could not help but be shocked when he saw this. How? How could it be you? It's him. Isn't he Panga's captain? Goodness me. He's so strong. The Vulcan team members who rushed over later were all dumbstruck as well. The level 5 arcanist who fought the Titan Tempest ape to a standstill, and then finally killing it. Was actually Ling Jiu. This joke had gone a little too far. Ling Jiu did not care about the Vulcan team members' shock, and instead, put the giant egg in his hand. You say this thing is yours. Do you have any proof? Proof. Yang Gan snapped back and said with a dry smile, Captain Ling, you may not know, we had left in a hurry and had accidentally dropped it, but it is indeed mine, my team members can vouch for me. Captain Ling, this thing is really ours, we can vouch for that. The Vulcan team members all spoke up. This was something worth tens of billions, and they will have to get it back no matter what. That is to say, none of you can provide any proof that it's yours. The edge of Ling Jiu's mouth raised slightly. This. Yang Gan was at a loss for words. Proof. What proof? This was something they had stolen from Halong Lake, and they had not even had the chance to have a proper gander at it before it was thrown back to the Titan Tempest Ape. What proof would they have? It can't be helped if there's no proof. Ling Jiu shook his head. If I remember correctly, this belongs to the Titan Tempest Ape, and I killed that ape, so it's naturally my war trophy. After saying that, Ling Jiu turned around to leave. Yang Gan panicked and blocked Ling Jiu's path. It's mine, give it back. Yours. Ling Jiu stared coldly at Yang Gan. Since it's yours, then could you tell me, why it was in the hands of the Titan Tempest Ape? I, Yang Gan was suddenly speechless. At a loss for words. Ling Jiu sneered, then get out of my way. Ling Jiu. Yang Gan growled. Give it back, or I'll. Bomb. Before he could finish his sentence, a terrifying gravitational force suddenly came crashing down. Caught off guard, Yang Gan was directly crushed into the ground. You dare to threaten me. Ling Jiu said coldly. Who do you think you are? Damn you! Yang Gan was filled with both fury and humiliation. He used all of his strength as he tried to get up, yet the gravity pressing on him was like the Himalayan mountain. No matter how he struggled he was unable to get back up. Captain Ling, please spare him. Upon seeing this, a Vulcan team member hurriedly said. We'll give it up, please let Captain Yang go. Captain Ling, considering we are from the same base city. The other team members also begged for mercy as they had belatedly realized something. This was an uninhabited wilderness, even if Ling Jiu was to kill all of them, there would be no evidence, and their deaths would be in vain. The giant egg may be valuable, but their life. It was even much more precious. Only this once, no more exceptions next time. Ling Jiu snorted and left straight away. Ha! Yang Gan sat on the ground as he gasped for air. His eyes were filled with bitterness, humiliation, hatred, and anger. That was something worth billions, and it was snatched away just like that. Ling Jiu. 
Yang Gan clenched his fist, his eyes were filled with a bottomless fury. Things that I can't get, you won't get it either. The maglev motorcycle's autopilot function was activated as it slowly sped toward Longquan town. Ling Jiu checked the information on the microcomputer, and his entire person plunged into unspeakable excitement. Unexpectedly. It's actually something like this. No wonder that dire beast attacked the Vulcan team. No wonder Yang Gan would rather offend me just to get his hand on this. It's really. Ling Jiu was very excited. He thought it was just a simple rescue operation, but he never expected to get such a haul. This egg was worth at least tens of billions. The question now was, what was this big egg? The microcomputer gave out the details. Ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg. Egg of a class 7 dire beast, can breed a new ironclad ox. Dragon serpent. Price. 30 billion per unit. The ironclad ox. Dragon serpent. Class 7 dire beast. Extremely powerful, with unparalleled defense, and also has ice type arcana and belongs to the best of the class 7 dire beasts. Who would have thought that this plain rock is actually a class 7 dire beast, the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent's egg. That's a bloody class 7 dire beast. Ling Jiu was very excited. According to market conditions, a class 7 dire beast carcass can sell for billions, and if a carcass could sell for that much, what more of a class 7 dire beast egg? It would only get even more expensive and even more outrageous because the value of eggs was much greater. A class 7 dire beast is also known as a lord of the dire beasts. Beneath each class 7 dire beast is a large number of dire beasts, just like the lords and nobility among the humans. The dire beast lord got its name from that. So, every class 7 dire beast is synonymous with might and terror. If one can tame a class 7 dire beast, not only would you be able to get a powerful combat partner, but also an army of dire beasts. Sadly, a class 7 dire beast is just too ferocious to be tamed at all. The dire beast egg is different, however, and the beast it hatches can be tamed. As long as it is properly hatched, an ironclad ox. Dragon serpent can be hatched from this egg. In just a dozen years, it will grow to its peak state and become a powerful class 7 dire beast. A class 7 dire beast. A glint flashed in Ling Jiu's eyes. I guess, even in Chang'an Bay City, there are not that many level 7 arcanists that could actually match a class 7 dire beast. Not to mention that a class 7 dire beast, or a dire beast lord, has the ability to form a huge army of dire beasts. So, if I were to put this egg up for sale, I can definitely sell it for a sky.high price. I wonder how did those people from Vulcan steal this egg from the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent's lair? Was it sleeping? Ling Jiu mumbled to himself, but this was obviously not the point. The main thing was the egg was in his hands now, and that itself was enough. So, should he keep it or sell it? Chapter 62 Selling the Giant Egg Sold within mere seconds you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sell it. Keep it. Ling Jiu did not think much about it and decided to sell the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg. It would take decades for this thing to grow to its peak. A decade. Too slow. Ling Jiu just could not wait that long. That night, Ling Jiu rushed overnight back to the base city and looked for Luo Jiao. Ling Jiu, weren't you on the mission? Why are you in the base city? Luo Jia was surprised at Ling Jiu's sudden appearance. I found something good, so I rushed back overnight. Ling Jiu cut to the chase, and immediately took out the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg, and Luo Jia was dumbfounded, as she asked in confusion. Ling Jiu, what is this? An ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg. Ironclad ox. Dragon serpent. Egg. Luo Jia's body trembled slightly and could not help but to take a deep gasp. Isn't the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent a class 7 dire beast lord? 
how did you manage to get its egg? Ling Jiu retold the story, and a glint flashed in Luo Jia's eyes. It seems like the Vulcans must have stolen the egg, but due to their fear of the Titan Tempest ape they handed the egg back, and in the end, it became yours for nothing. I think so too. Ling Jiu smiled slightly. The ironclad ox. Dragon serpent lives in Heilong Lake and was a few hundred kilometers away from Mopan Bay, so the egg must have been stolen. Of course, all of that is besides the point. Luo Jia's gaze fell on the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg again, and she said, The point is this egg. Are you going to sell it to the company? If the price is right, I will definitely sell to the company. Ling Jiu said. Luo Jia took out a microcomputer to give it a check and said, according to the market price, this thing is worth 30 billion. If you were to auction it, you should be able to sell it for 2 or 3 billion more. If you sell it to the company, I can only give you 30 billion. No contribution points. Ling Jiu frowned slightly. Although the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg is invaluable, it is still not a treasure of heaven and earth, and could not be counted as a special contribution. Luo Jia explained. She personally hoped that the company would buy this egg, but the company had company rules, and any items that are not considered special contributions cannot be given any contribution points. As a manager, she could not violate company rules. But. Luo Jia then switched the conversation. Although you cannot sell it to the company, the company has a special trading channel, and I can help you to put the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg on that trade channel. You can trade with other arcanists in the company, and I believe someone will be able to provide you a satisfactory price. There's something like that. Why haven't I heard of this before? Ling Jiu asked in confusion. From the perspective of a company manager, I naturally would like that you would trade with the company instead of privately. I hope you can understand this. Lu Jia explained with a smile. All right. Afterward, Luo Jia opened the trading channel and placed the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent on auction and attached the price given by Ling Jiu, 30 billion and 300 contribution points. To be honest with you, the price is a bit high, but Pangu had never lacked rich folks, and I believe there will be a reply soon enough. Luo Jia smiled as she comforted Ling Jiu. Unexpectedly, before she could even finish her sentence, the microcomputer beeped. Luo Jia looked at the microcomputer and laughed. Look, it was snapped up as soon as I put it up for auction. That fast. Ling Jiu was a little surprised. Yeah. Luo Jia turned the computer around, and Ling Jiu took a closer look. The ironclad ox. Dragon serpent was indeed being instantly snapped up, and the buyer was named A.I. Tian Fan. A.I. Tian Fan. His family name is A.I. Ling Jiu raised his eyebrows. Isn't that the A.I. family of Chang'an Base City? Luo Jia smiled and nodded. Your guess is right. A.I. Tian Fan is from the A.I. family in Chang'an Base City, and he's also the general manager of Pangu's Chang'an Base City branch, and his rank is higher than mine. So that's him. Ling Jiu nodded slightly as he clicked on A.I. Tianfan's profile picture at random, and some information about A.I. Tianfan suddenly popped up on the screen. A.I. Tianfan. Male, 47 years old. A.I. Yuha. Ling Jiu was stunned. He's A.I. Yuha's father. Do you know A.I. Yuha? Luo Jia was a little surprised, and he nodded. This young lady is just 18 years old today, and she is also a rare dual arcana genius. One of her arcana is a dimension dot type arcana, and the other type is currently unknown. I've heard that this young lady of the AI family is the most talented among the younger generation of the AI family, and had gotten the full attention of the AI family in raising her, she should be a level 4 arcanist. I've met her once. A glint appeared in Ling Jiu's eyes as he calmly asked, with her talents, it should be easy for her to get into the super training camp, right? Naturally. Luo Jia nodded, 
and suddenly looked deeply at Ling Jiu as she teased. Ling Jiu, I don't suppose you are harboring any ideas about this AI Yuha, Ling Jiu was stunned, and he immediately burst into laughter. Miss Luo, what are you talking about? I've only met her once, so I can't really say any ideas have actually formed. Is that so? Luo Jia chuckled. Even if you have any, that's fine. A fair lady is always the subject of pursuit by gentlemen. A girl with a good family background and talent like her is indeed a perfect match for you. Have some confidence. Boldly chase after her if you like her. You are definitely worthy of her. Let's talk about that later. Ling Jiu changed the subject and said, Miss Luo, there's one more thing that I would like to seek your help on. Oh. What's the matter? Luo Jia raised her eyebrow. I want to rent the company's dimensional pockets. Ling Jiu smiled and said. I suppose this operation will need us to kill plenty of dire beasts, and my dimensional pocket may not be enough, so. That's not a problem, how many do you want? Top dot level dimensional pockets, twenty of them. Okay. By the way, let me remind you, AI Tian Fan had just sent a message over. He will send someone to Lantian Base City to trade with you. I hope you will be prepared for that. Understood. Holding the rented dimensional pockets, Ling Jiu did not even go back home as he sped all the way back to Longquan Town. He was on a mission now, so it was not convenient for him to go home. More than an hour later, Ling Jiu rushed to Longquan Town, and then with his team, slaughtered the dire beasts around Longquan Town. Two days later, all of the dire beasts within a hundred miles of Longquan Town were slain. In the evening, everyone sat on the roof of an abandoned building, having a barbecue and drink session as they enjoyed a rare time of relaxation. Captain Ling, come, have a grilled chicken wing. Captain Ling, a toast to you. Captain Ling, don't forget about your brothers here once you have made it big in the future. There's this saying. Forget. Forget. Forget not your friends even when you're rich. Right, right, forget not your friends even when you're rich. Just eat. The night then went by without another word. Early next morning, the government's maglev airship arrived at Longquan Town on time. Commander Su, where are the other teams? Ling Jiu looked at the empty airship and could not help but ask. Aside from them, there were barely any people in the airship, only Commander Su and several government arcanists. Your team is the fastest, the other teams haven't even contacted us yet. Commander Su explained with a smile. Take a break, once everyone has gathered back, we will head to Maisie Town together to clean up that Class 5 Dire Beast pack. No need to wait. Ling Jiu waved his hand. Let's go directly to Maisie Town. Captain Ling, this is ill. Advised. Commander Su frowned slightly. The Class 5 Dire Beast pack in Maisie Town is not only numerous, but they are also very powerful. Based on our investigation there, there are three Class 5 Dire Beasts in Maisie Town, 41 Class 4 Dire Beasts, and the rest are all Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3 Dire Beasts, with just you guys. Chapter 63 Long-legged phasmids, super chestnut you are listening at novel full dot audio. Su Yuanhui rejected Ling Jiu's request. He had seen Ling Jiu and his team's data before and knew what their strengths were. Although he was surprised that Ling Jiu had become a level 4 arcanist at just 16 years, he was uncertain that Ling Jiu could kill a class 5 dire beast. A level 4 arcanist. A class 5 dire beast. That was two totally different levels. Not to mention that there was not one class 5 dire beast in Maisie Town, but three, and there were also 41 class 4 dire beasts and countless class 1, class 2, and class 3 dire beasts. How could Ling Jiu's squad of 11 destroy such a terrifying dire beast pack? However, he could not resist Ling Jiu's pestering, and in the end Su Yuanhui ordered the Maglev airship to come to Maisie Town. Without any delay, Ling Jiu took his team members down to the bamboo forest around Maisie Town. 
A Bamboo Forest The bamboo forest before him was very different from Ling Jiu's memory. Bamboo should be long and thin, but the bamboos in this bamboo forest were thick and long instead. Each bamboo, at its thickest was the size of an adult wrapping both arms around a tree, grew out the ground, and were like giant canopic trees as the fallen leaves had piled up into a thick layer. It was clear that the bamboo forest had evolved. I never thought that in thirty short years, the bamboo forest had grown till like this. Zhou Dun looked at the forest as he was awed. Zhou Dun, you've come here before. Huang Hailong asked with a smile. I'm a native of Maisie Town. Zhou Dun explained. Thirty years ago, before the dire beast incursion, I spent my childhood in Maisie Town. Back then, in order to stop soil erosion and to protect the environment, the government had planted over 6,000-odd acres of bamboo forest, 8,600 acres of chestnut trees, and about 2,500 acres of mulberry trees. Back then, we would dig out bamboo shoots during spring, have mulberries during summer, and chestnuts during winter. Every day was carefree and joyful. However, everything changed when I was seven. The dire beast incursion happened, and the entire town was evacuated, and I left the mazy town that I have spent my childhood. I never thought once I left it would be thirty years since. By the time I got back to my hometown, I've already grown from a boy into a boomer now. Sigh. Everyone nodded and fully understood how Zhou Dun was feeling. All of them were in their thirties, and had experienced the same thing as Zhou Dun, so they could feel the same thing as him. Whoosh! Just as everyone was reminiscing, a sudden rip of the air rang out as a sharp bamboo was raised and came crashing down. The bamboo was the size of an adult's thigh, and its root was extremely sharp, as it stabbed at Meng Lijun like a spear. Dush! The bamboo spear stabbed through Meng Lijun's shoulder in an instant, and the stab went through him as the bamboo spear stabbed into the ground. Li Jun. Chen Feng yelled as he pulled out the war knife on his back into a slash. A loud crack rang out and the bamboo was cut into two, with green blood spewing out of the wound. Gura. A shrill scream came from the top, and everyone looked up. Above them was a ten-meter-long bamboo pole as thick as an adult wrapping their arms around a tree. A bamboo pole. A scream. This scene was somewhat terrifying. SH asterisk T. It's the long-legged phasmid. Huang Hailong yelled. Watch out. It's the long-legged phasmid. The long-legged phasmid. Ling Jiu could not help but take a few more looks. From the outside, this long-legged phasmid was no different than a bamboo pole in terms of its color and its shape. If it stood still or did not move, it looked literally the same as the bamboos around it, totally indistinguishable. Oh well, Meng, how are you faring? Chen Feng asked concernedly. I'm fine. Meng Lijun endured the piercing pain and pulled out the bamboo spear that pierced into his shoulder before activating his tungsten form. When lightly injured, he could transform into this form to heal his wounds. This was part of his ability. You dare to hurt me. Die. Meng Lijun, who had now transformed into a tungsten giant was thoroughly enraged as he leapt up high, and slammed his fist onto the long-legged phasmid. Crack. Meng Lijun's fist shattered the long-legged phasmid's body and a large amount of dark green blood gushed out. Grura. The long-legged phasmid screamed as it brandished its remaining five legs as it stabbed at Meng Lijun in a frenzy. Sadly, in this state, Meng Lijun was extremely tough, and the bamboo spears only managed sparks when they struck him. Meng Lijun shot out several punches, and all five of the bamboo spear legs were broken. The long-legged phasmid let out a shrill scream as it fell from the sky onto the ground. Nav Om, die. Meng Lijun aimed at its head, and then smashed it clean. The long-legged phasmid struggled for a moment before falling motionless. Watch out guys, there should be more than one long-legged phasmid in the forest. Huang Hailong yelled a reminder. 
The long-legged phasmid was not a high-dot-level dire beast, it was just a class 2 dire beast. However, with them hiding in the bamboo forest, their camouflage was perfect and was a threat. Any carelessness may see them getting stabbed into a pin-dot cushion as Meng Lijun had. Don't bother. Ling Jiu said faintly as 8G gravity suddenly shrouded an area within a hundred meter radius. Boom. Boom. The sound of objects falling onto the ground rang out one after another. Everyone turned around and saw the bamboo poles that were falling onto the ground were all long-legged phasmids. Captain Ling, you're quite the something. Ha ha ha. Captain Ling's 8G gravity is beyond a class 3 dire beast's ability to resist, much less a class 2 dire beast like the long-legged phasmids. The long-legged phasmid is probably the class 2 dire beast worst affected by gravity. Ha ha ha, who asked them to grow legs that long? Cut the chatter, kill them. Since they had been forced to appear, the long-legged phasmid's threat was greatly reduced. Evroin then went on the offensive and killed the long-legged phasmids one by one. By the time the team crossed the 5000.acre bamboo forest and came outside of the bamboo forest, hundreds of long-legged phasmids had died in their hands. We're finally out. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief and looked forward. A forest appeared before them, with thick trees growing from the ground. All the trees were almost the same, and they had likely been artificially planted. The thick and tall trees were covered in watermelon dot sized hairballs. What tree is this? Sure, how asked incredulously. Everyone, we've struck gold. Zhou Dun licked his lips and laughed. Oh, well, Zhou, stop being coy. Spit it out. Bai Yu could not help but urge him. Didn't I tell you guys earlier? Thirty years ago, our town planted chestnut trees across 8,600 acres of land, and behold, the forest in front of us is just that. Zhou Dun smiled and said, but obviously, these chestnut leaves have evolved. Look, the chestnut they produce are as big as watermelons. This is a chestnut. Bloody hell. Chestnuts the size of watermelons. My daughter Dot and Dot Law loves fried chestnuts but there's barely any on the market so it's difficult to buy them even if you have money. The last time I had chestnut was two years ago. The chestnuts on the market are all grown in organic greenhouses, how can they compare with these evolved pure wild chestnuts? Everyone, it's December now, and it's the season for chestnuts. How about we take some home? Zhou Dun said with a smile. Of course. This is something good, since we've ran into them, of course we should take them back. Let's go. The group all went into the chestnut forest to pick the chestnuts. Ling Jiu also picked a good chestnut tree as the ground under his feet swelled, lifting him to a place where he could reach the chestnuts and started picking them slowly. It was December, and the chestnuts were ripe. After breaking the outer shell, a golden chestnut appeared before his eyes. Taking a hard bite, it was hard, sweet, and delicious. If it was taken back to be stirred dot fried or stewed in a soup, it would taste even better. Chapter 64 Super Spider Silk, Blood Feast Soul Eater You are listening at NovelFull.audio After going through a good part of the chestnut forest did the group left with satisfaction. Ling Jiu had picked more. Chestnuts themselves were pretty pricey, and this type of super chestnut was undoubtedly a rare item worth hundreds a single caddy. If the hawkers in the Bay City were to find out about this chestnut forest, they would definitely be heartbroken. Chestnuts are worth hundreds of dollars per caddy, if one were to sell all of the chestnuts in this forest, how much money can you earn? Sadly for them, they cannot leave the Bay City, and even if they could, they would not be able to come here as they would have long been fodder for dire beasts halfway through the trip. The group continued their slaughter of dire beasts and soon they came to the mulberry forest. The leaves of the mulberry trees had all fallen off, exposing their bare trunks, but all surfaces of the trees were covered in white spider webs. Countless spider webs were spread out all over the mulberry forest, 
completely covering the forest in it, leaving the vision inside the mulberry forest obscured. The dire beast radar shows that there are a total of 568 dire beasts in this mulberry forest. Among them are a class 5 dire beast, 13 class 4 dire beasts, and the rest are class 3 ones. Ling Jiu said, according to preliminary observations, all of the dire beasts are 10-legged white ape spiders. Their strength should not be underestimated. Stay vigilant. 10-legged white ape spider. That is to say, the spider webs covering the entire mulberry forest are all 10-legged white apes. How much are these worth? The entire team suddenly became excited. The 10 dot legged white ape spider is a very powerful social dire beast, and they were like the result of the fusion between white apes and spiders. With 10 spider legs but the body of a white ape, not only they are agile and powerful, but they were also good at spinning webs. What's even more terrifying, the spider silk of the 10 dot legged white ape spider was extremely tough and comparable to steel in terms of strength. Using this silk to create bullet vests and protective armor not only made them tough and sturdy but also light and easy to wear. Therefore, the silk of a 10-legged white ape spider is extremely expensive. A pound of their silk could sell for a sky.high price of 1 million yuan. How much spider silk were there in this forest? If they could collect all of them to sell, how much can they earn? Chen Feng swallowed his saliva but still reminded everyone, guys, be careful. The 10-dot-legged white ape spiders may be worth a lot, but a 10-dot-legged white ape spider isn't easy to deal with. Any mistakes can just result in us dying here, no joke. Hearing this, all of the team members snapped back to reality and calmed down instantly. Ling Jiu said, you guys collecting the spider silks. Leave the elimination of the 10 dot legged white ape spiders to me. I hope by the time I'm done with them, you guys are done collecting. Captain Ling, can you manage alone? Huang Hailong asked out of concern. There's a class 5 dire beast there, and it won't be easy to deal with. Captain Ling, let's go together. All the other team members said one after another. I have confidence. Ling Jiu smiled and spoke before instantly vanishing from where he stood. Guy, Captain Ling has already gone ahead. Let's get moving. Heave ho. Going underground along the way, Ling Jiu found the first 10 dot legged white ape spider. Its spider legs were 4 meters long and were covered with barbs while its body was snow white. It was a literal white ape spider with 10 legs. At this moment, the 10 dot legged white ape spider was crawling on the web, eating a bug dot type dire beast. Its mouth had bulged up as it enjoyed gnawing on its quarry. Against such a class 3 dire beast, Ling Jiu raised his hand and shot out a stone spear through the head of the 10 legged white ape spider, killing it on the spot. Collecting the corpse, Ling Jiu went on to kill the second 10 dot legged white ape spider. He was like a silent assassin, searching and killing all the way. In less than an hour, all class 3 and class 4 10 dot legged white ape spiders were all killed, leaving only the class 5 10 dot legged white ape spider. Ling Jiu headed to the center of the mulberry forest to search for the class 5 dire beast. Unexpectedly, the dire beast radar suddenly sounded. Alert! Alert! The class 5 10 dot legged white ape spider has disappeared. Hmm, Ling Jiu looked at the dire beast radar and saw the orange mark representing the 10 dot legged white ape spider on the radar disappeared. Eddie E.T. It disappeared. Ling Jiu frowned slightly as he took out his phone and contacted Chin Fong and the rest. That class 5 10 dot legged white ape spider had disappeared, and its whereabouts unknown. All of you, Pull out of the mulberry forest first to avoid being attacked. What? Chen Feng immediately reacted. Yes, yes. We'll withdraw right away. Guys, fall back. That class 5 10 dot legged white ape spider has disappeared. F asterisk CK. After hanging up, Ling Jiu immediately headed to the center of the mulberry forest, 
and he found that the heart of the forest was covered in a layer of thick spiderwebs. The spiderweb had three interior layers and three external layers interwoven to form a very solid defensive circle that surrounded the center of the mulberry forest, leaving it impossible for anyone to see what was inside there. This was not difficult for Ling Jiu as he dived into the earth and used Earth Escape to come to the center of the mulberry forest. Yet, what he saw shocked him. At the heart of the mulberry forest was a deep pit of unknown depth. The pit wall was covered with thick layers of spider silk, like a carpet covering over the pit. Ling Jiu heightened his vigilance as he cautiously came to the edge of the pit to have a look down. This look alone sent chills down his spine as cold sweat started to form. The class 510. legged white ape spider was at the bottom of the pit. However it was lying motionless there, or rather, it was creeping slowly. At the same time, it let out bursts of roars as if it was in pain, and it was actually covered with countless small red creatures. These red creatures looked a little like spiders and a little like crabs. They were only the size of an apple and were blood.red as they clambered all over the ten-legged white ape spider's body, looking extremely vampish and evil. What's that? Ling Jiu was puzzled, and carefully used the osmium soil to grab one of the red creatures over, and then used the microcomputer to query their information. Blood Feast Soul Eater Spider, a parasitic spider. Its adult form is about 10 centimeters, and it can grow up to 15 centimeters. Its entire body is red as if it is made out of fresh blood. Its body is covered with hard spines and survives as a parasite. It would often get into the bodies of larger dire beasts and hooked into them with the spines and consumes the host's blood. At the same time, it would divide rapidly, multiplies, then divides again, forming a huge colony. Only when it had drained the blood of its current host dry it will look for a new host. Blood Feast Soul Eater Spider can split into a colony in a short period of time, so the Blood Feast Soul Eater Spider is also called the Vampire Spider. Note The Blood Feast Soul Eater Spider has a magical substance. X in its body. X is the main material used for creating the water of life, so the Blood Feast Soul Eater Spider is extremely valuable. Price 1.5 billion per caddy. Whoa, 1.5 billion per caddy. You gotta be kidding me. Ling Jiu's eyes almost popped out. Chapter 65 Water of Life, Extending Life by 30 Years You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. 1 billion per caddy. This was definitely the most expensive, most outrageous dire beast that Ling Jiu had ever seen before. Even those class 7 or class 8 dire beasts could not compare to this. It was that outrageous. However, when Ling Jiu looked up the information on the water of life, he suddenly felt the reason why the Blood Feast Soul Eater spiders were so expensive was not without reason. The water of life. Advanced genetic medicine. Can activate telomerase at the end of the cell chromosomes, greatly increasing the number of chromosome replication and increasing the number of cell divisions, slowing down cell aging and ultimately extending a person's life. A vial of water of life can extend one's lifespan by 30 years. That's just incredible. Ling Jiu was shocked. Although he knew that many technologies of this world had far surpassed the one in his previous life, he did not expect that a life-prolonging drug had actually been developed. Water of life. Activating the telomerase. Increasing the number of chromosome duplications. Ultimately, extending one's life. Why did this sound more like fantasy? However, the information given by the microcomputer made it plain that the water of life can indeed extend someone's life, and by a whole 30 years. 30 years. How many 30 years could a person have? Most would only have two. A few would have three. It was very little indeed. So, who would not want to increase their lifespan by another 30 years? Thinking about it that way, suddenly the 1.5 billion per caddy price did not seem all that expensive. Mine. All mine. Ling Jiu was excited beyond words. 
seeing the blood feast soul eater spiders, his eyes transformed into dollar signs. They were no longer just evil, blood sucking vampires, but instead a series of zeros in his account balance. Gotta. Gotta catch em all. Ling Jio immediately checked the method of capturing a blood feast soul eater spider and found that capturing them was not as easy as he had imagined. The blood feast soul eater spiders were very dangerous, and once the spider had infested in one's body unless it was removed by surgery in time, only death awaits. However, this was not too difficult for Ling Jio. He took out 50 square meters of osmium soil and wrapped all of the blood feast soul eater spiders on the 10 dot legged white ape spider into a large, airtight ball. Then, he took out a special dimensional bag and put the osmium ball into it. I believe the next time I take it out, all of the blood feast soul eater spiders should have been smothered to death. By then I can just sell them straight, he he. Another jackpot. Ling Jiu licked his lips and his snot was even coming out of his nose. This sort of wanton money dot grubbing and that feeling of picking up tens of billions at a time was just too much fun. The prince of an ultimate gene arcana technique is worth 1000 contribution points. Once I sell this batch of blood feast soul eater spiders off, I should have about enough. Ling Jiu pondered silently, and he was full of expectations for the future. He then checked around, and once he confirmed he had not left anything behind, he began to collect the spider silk. The spider silk in this area was probably made by the class 510. legged white ape spider, and the price alone was higher than the other spider silks, so he could not let them go. Half an hour later, once he was done collecting the spider silk did Ling Jiu contact Chen Feng and the rest for them to continue collecting the spider silks inside the mulberry forest. The sun was now to the west, and it was evening. All of the spider silks in the mulberry forest were collected, and the whole team was exhausted enough to camp directly inside the mulberry forest. Ha ha ha. One million per caddy. I'll probably be awake tonight just by smiling. Oh El Pichen, how much spider silk have you collected? Not much, not much. A few hundred caddies at most. About the same as us then. That is to say, we had made at least one billion this afternoon alone. One billion. That's insane. Ha ha ha, this is all thanks to Captain Ling. If it weren't for him, how could we make so much money? Come, come, everyone toast Captain Ling. Although they were physically exhausted, everyone was very happy. Although they had only been out for two days, they had earned more than a usual year. The difference was just on a whole different level. Ling Jiu also smiled happily. Although his team members had made a fortune, he had made an even bigger one. Three thousand great maw ants carcasses. A thousand great maw ant eggs. An ironclad ox dot dragon serpent worth thirty billion, and that blood feast soul eater spiders he had just harvested today. All of them were by his own efforts. So, he took them all for himself. In addition, as for the countless class 2, class 3, class 4, and class 5 dire beasts carcasses that he had hunted with the rest, as he was the main attacker, he naturally would take a bigger share. It could be said that he was the one who earned the most. Rest well tonight guys, we'll try to kill all of the dire beasts in Maisie Town in two days time, and then head to the next class 5 dire beast pack. Lin Jiu smiled and said, once we have cleared the dire beast packs there, we can leave here in advance, and then return to the company to turn our haul into cash. As you say, Captain Ling. The next morning, everyone got up at 6 in the morning and had a quick breakfast before setting off. Today's mission was going to be arduous, so they had to work harder. Kill them all. The slaughter unfolded again. Two days later, all of the dire beasts in Maisie Town were slaughtered. Call Commander Su. Yes, Captain Ling. An hour later, the maglev airship appeared over Maisie Town. Ling Jiu led his team onto the airship and found that there were many people in the airship, and among them were the Vulcan team led by Yang Gan. You. Yang Gan suddenly stood up, his eyes blood dot red as he stared at Ling Jiu furiously. 
If his gaze could kill, he would have ripped Ling Jiu into pieces, and then take the egg back. That was an ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg worth 30 billion, although the other members of the Vulcan team were not as angry as Yang Gan, all of them wore grim experiences as they clenched their fists and glared at Ling Jiu. What's going on? Chen Feng and others were stunned. So it's you lot. Ling Jiu glanced at them before finding a seat and sat down, completely ignoring the angry Yang Gan and the rest. And that made him even more furious. Boy, just you wait. I won't let you just take it away like that. Sooner or later, I'll make you spit that out with interest. This I promise you. Be my guest at any time. Ling Jiu snorted and ignored him. He instead turned to Su Yuan Hui. Commander Su, we've cleared out the dire beasts in Maisie Town. Take us to Haihuya Mountain. Already done. Su Yuan Hui was stunned, and he immediately got someone to check. A moment later, he got news that there were no more dire beasts in Maisie Town. Captain Ling, Pangu's hunting efficiency sure is amazing. Su Yuan Hui gave a thumbs up. There were so many dire beasts in Maisie Town, with three class five dire beasts, but they were all killed by you. Amazing. It's all thanks to all of my comrades. Ling Jiu smiled slightly. Can we head over to Haihuya Mountain now? Sure, sure. Su Yuan Hui nodded repeatedly before ordering the Maglev airship to change course and head directly for Haihuya Mountain. He was completely convinced now. Commander Su, once we are done clearing Haihuya's dire beasts, we can leave in advance right? Ling Jiuman asked casually. Of course. Su Yuanhui was dumbfounded for a moment before laughing. The other 17 dire beast packs had already been mostly cleaned up, leaving only Haihuya Mountain as the toughest nut to crack. Captain Ling, if you and your team can take Haihuya Mountain, you can leave the clean dot up job to us. That's good then. Ling Jiu nodded slightly, before closing his eyes to rest. Boy, just you wait. I'll make you pay for this later. Chapter 66 Royal Hover, the Vulcan manager you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Luo Jia was seeing a special guest today. If Ling Jiu were here, he would have instantly recognized this guest. Ai Yuha, whom he had met before. Nice to meet you, Miss Ai. Luo Jia shook Ai Yuha's hand enthusiastically. Nice to meet you too, Miss Luo. Ai Yuha smiled. Mr. Ai has told me your purpose of visit. Luo Jia ushered Ai Yuha to sit down. It's a shame that the owner of the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg is still hunting dire beasts in Qin Mountains. I'm afraid, Qin Mountains. That place is near to Lantian Base City. Ai Yuha then asked as she smiled, could you tell me where he is? I can go to see him straight away. Sure. Luo Jia nodded. She took out a phone and made a call. Before long, she got Ling Jiu's location. They are heading to the Heihu Mountain Pass, Miss Ai. The Heihu Mountain Pass. Thank you, Miss Luo. The Heihu Mountain Pass was a ravine in the majestic Qin Mountains, hugged by steep mountains and forest front and back. As the Maglev airship reached the Heihu Mountain Pass, Ling Jiu and others disembarked and were ready to continue wiping out the dire beasts. Just then, a 4.meter long Maglev car arrived in a flash. As the door hissed open by itself, a strapping man stepping on a silver skateboard floated out then hovered above them. The Royal Hover, Eddie E.T., a level 0.5 arcanist. Everyone, including Ling Jiu, saw the man in their hearts missed a beat. Level 0.1 and 0.2 arcanists were of lower level, level 0.3 and 0.4 arcanists were of intermediate level, and level 0.5 arcanists were of advanced realm. Advanced arcanists, the shorthand for strength. A level 0.5 arcanist could easily kill a lower dot level arcanist. Even the strongest level 0.4 arcanist could not hold a candle to the power of a level 0.5 arcanist. Because of their strength, there were few level. 
five arcanists in Lantian Bay City. Only the general managers or those in the leadership in major organizations like Pangu and Vulcan were level point five arcanists. Isn't he Jean Chao, the general manager of Vulcan? Chen Feng looked at him and exclaimed quietly. Why is he here? It really is the general manager of Vulcan. What is he doing here instead of staying in the base city? Huang Hailong was puzzled, too. Who knows? Maybe he is just passing by. All team members shook their heads. Just like Luo Jia, the general manager of Vulcan is a bigwig. They all recognized him. Just that he did not know who they were. Mr. Jean. Yang Gan and the Vulcan team were overjoyed at seeing him. They bowed to him in unison. Hey, Yang, which one of them is Ling Jiu? Jean Chao looked at Yang Gan. It's him, Mr. Jean. Yang Gan pointed at Ling Jiu and was almost gloating over it. He took our stuff. He must be made to return it. What is the situation? The Pangu team was puzzled. Same went to Su Yuanhui and some other arcanists on board the Maglev airship. What's the matter? Looking for Ling Jiu. Hand over the thing, kid. Jin Chao looked at Ling Jiu. You know what I mean. There's no point pretending, he said faintly. Who do you think you are? Ling Jiu hissed. A level point five arcanist. Jin Chao was nonchalant, haughty, in fact. He looked condescendingly at Ling Jiu, as if Ling Jiu was a nobody. Is this reason? Good enough. Ling Jiu laughed, but not aloud, his voice filled with disdain. Are you intimidating me with you only being a level point five arcanist? Who do you think you are? His words caused a stir. All eyes were on Ling Jiu with their jaws dropped, as if they were seeing a monster. This is the general manager of Vulcan he was facing. How dared he talk to Jean Chao like that? He must have a death wish. How dare you? Meanwhile, Yang Gan looked in anger, but deep down, he was quietly gloating over it. Mr. Jean is the general manager of Vulcan. You have disrespected him by talking to him like that. Mr. Jean. He is only the GM of Vulcan, not of Pangu. Why should I care about him? Ling Jiu looked annoyed. Cut the cackle. I have no time for this. Just make you move now. I have got things to do. Damn it. He is so arrogant. Loud-mouthed. I have never seen anyone so arrogant. Captain Ling, don't be like this. Chen Feng and others were terrified. They tried to dissuade him quietly. Just apologize. We will talk it over when we are back in the K city. He who fights and runs away, lives to fight another day. That's right, Captain Ling. You have angered Mr. Jean, it doesn't concern you all. So don't interfere. Ling Jiu held up his hand and sneered. If someone tries to take things away from me, I will tell that person to perish the thought and go somewhere else. You have a death wish, rascal. Jean Chao was furious. With his finger pointing into the air, a glinting silver blade shot out of the silver skateboard under his feet. The blade faded into a light as it was targeting at Ling Jiu. It was so quick that it came within inches of him, aiming at his knee. As furious as Jean Chao was, he would not kill Ling Jiu, as that would be akin to shooting himself in the foot if he killed the level point four arcanist of Pangu. Unless there was no one around. An earthen wall rose from under Ling Jiu's feet to block the attack. But the blade was more powerful than he had expected, it pierced through the wall and still shot at him. Nevertheless, the wall had delayed the blade by a second, and that one second was all Ling Jiu needed. He dodged the blade in a flash and launched his counterattack at the same time. The Qin Mountains were rocky. Rocks were everywhere, and this environment favored Ling Jiu. Once he stomped his feet to the ground, the rocks within a hundred yards around him rose and shot at Jin Chao in the air. Hundreds of rocks screamed through the air like a symphony orchestra. 
Chapter 67 80.Death Shield, that's too savage you are listening at novel full.audio. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, not good. Jean Chao's expression subtly changed when he saw so many rocks. Each of them was as large as an ox. If he got hit, he would be done for. Jean Chao came down from the air at once. A level 0.5 arcanist could perform a royal hover, but that was all it did, hovering instead of flying. Hovering meant he could not go forward or backward and perform evasive maneuvers. If he remained hovering in the air, it would be a target, the sitting duck. It was a dumb idea. Do you really think you will be alright by landing on the ground? Ling Jiu sneered as his hand grabbed in the air then smacked toward the ground. Boom. The rocks, which were hurled at Jin Chao, suddenly turned back and came down at Jin Chao as a rock rain. Break that. As Jin Chao shouted, the silver skateboard under his feet broke up and turned into dozens of identical silver blades. The blades quickly regrouped and formed into a silver fan, spinning at high speed to meet the falling rocks. A shocking scene happened when the rocks hit the high dot speed fan. Like tofu, they broke apart. They were pulverized and scattered all over the place. T, this is the ultimate gold dot type cold weapon, the 80 dot death shield. Zhang Yuan exclaimed. The ultimate gold dot type cold weapon. The 80 dot death shield. Chen Feng and others looked at Zhang Yuan. The 80 dot death shield comprised 80 sharp blades. It is said that each blade was made from meteorite. It would cut iron like slicing melon, extremely sharp. On its own, each blade was a sharp weapon. Collectively, they were a terrifying arsenal. Zhang Yuan explained further. They could take the form of 80 types of weapons such as saber, spear, sword, halberd, auger, wheel, and umbrella, extremely powerful. I see. Chen Feng and others could not help but worry when they learned what it was. Jin Chao was a level 0.5 arcanist with a super weapon like that. Would Ling Jiu be his match? Just when everyone was still worried, the few hundred rocks had shattered. Jin Chao's eyes flashed with murderous intent. Rascal, I will make sure you pay for your stupidity and arrogance. Sword. As Jin Chao shouted, the 80 blades changed again. This time, they formed into a 2.meter dot long, 20 dot centimeter dot wide great sword. Dot kill. The great sword shot at Ling Jiu. It pierced through the air with a loud sonic boom and came in front of Ling Jiu in the blink of an eye, aiming at his chest. The sword was quick and merciless. No way a normal level 0.4 arcanist could dodge that without getting pierced through and through. But Ling Jiu was an exception. He was no ordinary arcanist. Seeing the incoming great sword, he decisively performed a gravity arcana. Eightfold gravity. The great sword traveled the length of its trajectory and ended up hitting the ground in front of Ling Jiu's feet. What? Shock was not the word for it when Jin Chao saw his attack that he was so sure to succeed had failed. Before he knew it, the eightfold gravity had come upon him. He lost his balance as he almost could not straighten his back. The force of the eightfold gravity was so terrible that even a dire beast as savage as the Titan Tempest ape gave way, let alone him. A horrifying gravity force. Jin Chao's heart missed a beat, and he was thinking of retrieving his great sword. Before he knew it, the eightfold gravity force reversed its direction from downward to upward, hurling Jin Chao up in the air. Storm of bullets. The corner of Ling Jiu's mouth curled up in a smirk. With the wave of his hand, several hundred rocks were flung through the air at Jin Chao like a tide, unstoppable. Damn it! There was no leverage point in the air. Now Jin Chao could not even move its body, let alone dodge. All he could do was to watch himself buried by the rocks. Taking hits from several hundred rocks hurled at him, Jin Chao let out a painful scream. 
When Ling Jiu finally removed the eightfold gravity force, Jean Chao dropped to the ground, lying in a pool of blood like a lump of crushed meat. Ling Jiu pulled the great sword out of the ground and walked up to Jean Chao. You should be thankful that people are around. Otherwise. Jean Chao turned his head with difficulty to look at Ling Jiu, opening his mouth as he tried to say something. He coughed up and spat a mouthful of blood. Nothing was said. All of his bones were crushed. He was as good as dead. I will take your great sword as my loot. Ling Jiu brandished the great sword in his hand. If you are not happy about it, come to find me. I'll be waiting. Having said that, Ling Jiu left Jin Chao alone and turned to Yang Gan. You have provoked me repeatedly. Do you really think I won't dare to do anything to you? W, what are you going to do? Yang Gan's face turned pale, his body was shivering like a fearful quail. What do you think I am going to do? With the wave of the great sword, Ling Jiu cut off the right arm and left leg of Yang Gan. Yang Gan screamed in agony as blood spurted out from his wound instantly. He fell on the ground and rolled about in pain. If you dare to mess with me again, I will not only cut off your arm and leg, but also your head. Ling Jiu spoke nonchalantly. He then looked at the Vulcan team. Come forward if you all want to avenge your team leader. Ling Jiu spun around and left after saying that. Sir. Chen Feng and others quickly came up. Their eyes were filled with reverence. Let's keep clearing out those dire beasts. Ling Jiu's nonchalance seemed to tell that what he had done was not worth his second glance. Indeed. He had only defeated a level 0.5 arcanist, which was not something worth bragging about. After all, there had already been four class 0.5 dire beasts dead at his hands. Yes, sir. Ling Jiu and others had left. The members of the Vulcan team watched as they left, fear filling their eyes. They did not say a word the whole time. Avenge. You must be kidding. Even Mr. Jean was already half dot dead. Who would be that stupid to die for nothing? Too savage. Absolutely too savage. Su Yuanhui and others were breaking out in a cold sweat. They could swear to heavens that they had never seen an arcanist as savage as him. The GM of Vulcan was now a basket case. Even a level 0.4 arcanist like Yang Gan had his right arm and left leg cut off. Ruthless. Savage. If not for us at the scene, the people from Vulcan would have ended up worse. Someone had a different opinion. Su Yuanhui and others got chills by just thinking of that. That person was right. Had they not been here, no people from the Vulcan could have lived. Director Su, what do we do now? Someone asked in a shivering voice. We can't leave them here to die. They are from the Vulcan, after all. Su Yuanhui sighed. Bring them back to the base city and treat their wounds. If any of them dies here, we will have a hard time explaining it to Vulcan. Yes, Director Su. Chapter 68 Deal closed, mission accomplished you are listening at novelfull.audio. Captain Ling, you are awesome. Even the GM of Vulcan isn't Captain Ling's match. Who else in Lantian Base City can beat Captain Ling? Miss Luo is the number one fighter in Lantian Base City, and Jean Chao from Vulcan comes in second. Since Captain Ling has defeated Jean Chao, Captain Ling isn't far from Miss Luo, I guess. Captain Ling is only 16, yet already so capable. He should be qualified to join the super training camp, where the best of the best gathered. His team members followed him from behind and kept flattering him, some apparently sucking up to him, and more at awe and admiration. That's enough. Let's focus on hunting the dire beasts. Don't drop the ball. Who is still afraid of the dire beasts when Captain Ling is here? There was laughter from the team members. But everyone got in the groove quickly. Ling Jiu was leading, using gravity force to suppress hostile as his teammates charged forward and hunted. Kill. Boom. 
they were on a roll until nearly nightfall. Almost all dire beasts in the Hehu Mountain Pass had been hunted down. The few left behind were the ones lingering on their last breath. Let's fill our faces and take a good rest for the night. We will finish off the rest of the dire beasts tomorrow morning, then we can return to the company. Yes, Captain Ling. After their dinner, the teammates went to sleep in the abandoned building while Ling Jio stayed outside to absorb the gene energy. Just then, ripples formed in the air nearby and a fine-shaped girl appeared. She was tall, and had a wonderfully pretty face, silky dot smooth long hair and impeccable skin, she was like a ravishing figure walking out from a painting. It has only been a month, and you have become a level 0.5 arcanist. You have exceeded my expectation. The girl ran her fingers through the hair cascading down her ear. Ling Jiu's heart skipped a beat. When he saw who she was, he forced a smile. Your sudden appearance almost scared the hell out of me, miss. Oh, really? A.I. Yuha tittered as she came up, sat down beside Ling Jiu, and jared the bonfire, flaming it up further. You know why I am here, don't you? A.I. Yuha steered the topic. Because of this. Ling Jiu nodded at the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg appearing in his hand. That's right. Her eyes flashed. I've been here watching as you and Jean Chao fought. Just that I didn't reveal myself. Honestly, I'm shocked. I still remember you were only a level 0.3 arcanist a month ago. You have risen to become a level 0.5 arcanist in just a short one month. What you achieved is nothing short of incredible. You are wrong, Mississippi. My combat strength might be equal to that of a level 0.5 arcanist, but I am still at level 4. Ling Jiu corrected her. Level 4. A.I. Yuha cocked an eyebrow. A level 0.4 arcanist could kill a level 0.5 arcanist. You are more terrific than I have thought. I am flattered, Mississippi. The two talked for a while before Ling Jiu passed the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg to her. Check the goods, Mississippi. No problem. A.I. Yuha accepted the thing. This is a legit ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg, two years and three months old, nine months to go before it hatches. You can even see that. Ling Jiu was surprised. Special instrument. A.I. Yuha had a beautiful smile. Thirty billion dollars and three hundred contribution points, right, yes. Tell me your bank account number. The transfer was successful, and Ling Jiu had an additional thirty billion dollars in his account, which now stood at thirty-four billion. My net worth will spike again, and I can buy a maglev airship after selling all the stuff. Ling Jiu was on cloud nine as he saw the many digits of zero in his account. It seemed like a dream to own that kind of money. It's done. A.I. Yuha let out a smile. We will see again, young billionaire. Are you leaving so quickly, miss? I couldn't bear to see you going. Your every smile, every move, and eyes captivate me. Ling Jiu pulled a sad face. A.I. Yuha blushed. Are you trying to flirt with me, kid? Not that it matters. Just that it sounds so awkward. Are you waiting for me to laugh till I die so you can take back the ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg? Ling Jiu let out an awkward smile. It is not flirting but words from the bottom of my heart. Save it. I don't buy this. Smile faded from A.I. Yuha's face as she took out a maglev car and was ready to leave. Before leaving, she suddenly looked back at Ling Jiu with a smile. See you around. She disappeared into the maglev car and left. Ling Jiu looked in the direction where the maglev car disappeared, and could not help but laugh. As the adage goes, a fair maiden is all a good young man is after. I may not be a good young man, but I love fair maidens. After practicing self-cultivation for a night, he had replenished the gene arcana that he had exhausted. Not only that, it had become even more powerful than before. 
the sea of hundred rivers was no doubt wonderful stuff. After breakfast, Ling Jiu and others continued their hunt and had killed all dire beasts within fifty miles radius of Heihu Mountain Pass. At two or three in the afternoon, they returned to the company and went straight to the appraisal department to meet Li Kai and Wang Yun, Li Kai's master. The harvest is a little more than usual this time, Master Wang. The more, the merrier. After the pleasantries, the appraisal process began. First up was the class point two and point three dire beasts. Then it was the class point four and point five. Because of the sheer number of dire beasts, the appraisal took some time. Ling Jiu instructed Chen Feng and others to keep an eye on the process while he was away to the general manager's office. You are back. Luo Jia looked like she was in a pickle. Yeah, I'm back. Ling Jiu nodded as he smiled. I have heard about the Heihu Mountain Pass. Luo Jia still had the same expression on her face. To be honest, I knew you would surpass me soon, but did not expect it to be this quick. Has the incident at the Heihu Mountain Pass brought trouble to the company, Miss Luo? A little, but not a big deal. Luo Jia shrugged it off with a smile. Because of you defeating Jin Chao, Pangu has become even more famous in Lantian Bay City and stolen the limelight from Vulcan. That's great. Ling Jiu smiled and cut to the chase. I'm here to sell something, Miss Luo. Luo Jia cocked an eyebrow. Before this, Ling Jiu had sold ice hollow weed, snow dragon bile, and ironclad ox. Dragon serpent egg. So what's next? Luo Jia was in anticipation. It is bunch of blood feast soul eater spiders. Chapter 69 The wealthiest person in Lantian, airship purchase you are listening at novel full. Audio. Blood feast soul eater spiders. Luo Jia was a little surprised, her beautiful eyes were wide open. She sprang to her feet. What did you say? Blood feast soul eater spiders. You have got the blood feast soul eater spiders. Ling Jiu nodded. Oh gosh. You have got the blood feast soul eater spiders. How could you be so lucky? This thing is a priceless ingredient for making the water of life for heaven's sake. Luo Jia could not hold back her excitement. Show me. Quick. Here. Ling Jiu looked reluctant. I'm afraid they will dirty your office. Screw it. Luo Jia could not wait. Just show me. All right, then. With the wave of his hand, Ling Jiu took out a large osmium ball that held the ten dot legged white, ape spider and blood feast soul eater spiders. The ball was so large that it took up half of the office room space. Luckily, Luo Jia's office was large enough. Otherwise, she would have a hard time accommodating the corpse of this class. 510 dot legged white, ape spider. Ling Jiu removed the osmium soil to reveal the corpse of the ten dot legged white, ape spider, covered in the blood feast soul eater spiders. After being wrapped up for so long, all the blood feast soul eater spiders had died from suffocation. There was no parasitic fear. These are the blood feast soul eater spiders. Luo Jia picked up a blood feast soul eater spider and carefully studied it. I have heard about these things. But this is the first time I am seeing one. Following that, Luo Jia took out a micro.pc to do validation, after which she called someone in to collect the samples. They conducted anatomy on the ten dot legged white, ape spider and took out all the blood feast soul eater spiders from its body. The last step was to weigh them. You are rich, Ling Jiu. The Blood Feast Soul Eater Spiders weigh 30.4 pounds and 8 ounces, valued at $47.4 billion. I am so jealous of you. You are the company's general manager. That's peanuts to you. Ling Jiu was equally excited at hearing the figure. Both Ironclad Ox. Dragon Serpent Egg and Blood Feast Soul Eater Spiders were windfall to him. He could not believe that he could be so lucky. He must have found great favor with heaven. Here's the deal. Luo Jia continued. 
The Blood Feast Soul Eater Spiders are a treasure of heaven and earth. The company offers you $47.4 billion and 474 contribution points for them. How about that? Deal. After closing the deal, Ling Zhou's personal net worth climbed to $81.4 billion. That had not included the 904 contribution points he had. There was no one, not even the general manager Luo Jia, richer than him in Lantian Bay City. Congratulations. You have become the wealthiest person in Lantian. Praises and amazement filled Luo Jia's eyes. She had been witnessing the rise of Ling Jiu, from a rookie to surpassing her, which took only eight months. It felt so dreamy, so surreal. Thank you. Ling Jiu was grinning from ear to ear, feeling just as surreal. Before transmigration, he had been in labor class, taking a few thousand dollars in wages. But after the transmigration, not only did he have become an arcanist, he had made $80 billion in eight months. The changes came so quick that he felt it surreal. But Ling Jiu was not complacent, his contribution points had not crossed the 1000 threshold. This shattered his dream of buying the ultimate gene arcana. Got to save up. After chatting with Luo Jia for a while, Ling Jiu left the general manager's office and returned to the appraisal department, where Master Wang and Li Kai were still busy doing their job. Captain Ling. Captain Ling. Chen Feng and others greeted him. How is the appraisal process going? asked Ling Jiu. We may not finish today because of the sheer number of harvests. I have never thought of hunting too many dire beasts could be a problem, too. Huang Hailong gave a helpless smile. Don't you all think so? The other team members nodded their agreement. Tell Master Wang and Li Kai we will have dinner together. Leave the unfinished appraisal for another day. Okay. Three days had passed since then, and they finally completed the appraisal. The outcome was known. On Ling Zhou's side, there were 7 class.5, 468 class.4 dire beasts, 3,000 great maw ants, and 1,000 ant eggs, all of which worth $7.3 billion. Ling Zhou had hunted these dire beasts alone, and so they all belonged to him. Next up was the shared hunting portion, which included 176 class.4, and 23,876 class.3 dire beasts, valued at $12 billion. The wilderness team had its own formula in dividing the $12 billion, each member taking a cut according to his share of contribution during the hunting process. Ling Jiu took most of the credits. Although he had not fought too much, his use of the gravity arcana rendering those dire beasts defenseless had played a significant role. For this reason, the team had agreed unanimously that Ling Jiu should be entitled to 30%, while the ten of them should divide the remaining 70% among themselves equally. Of course, Ling Jiu had no objection. Just like that, he got another $3.6 billion, pushing his personal net worth further to $92.3 billion, just one step away from the 100-point billion mark. After breakfast, instead of practicing self-cultivation, Ling Jiu logged on to the Pangdu Mall and browsed through the items for sales. He wanted to reward himself for his hard work. What was the point of working so hard just so he could keep the money? I am going to get myself a maglev airship. There were many choices in Pangdu Mall, from the cheapest, which cost 1 billion onward, to the most expensive, which cost tens of billions. Ling Jiu set his eyes on the maglev airships priced below 10 billion dollars. After sifting through the selection and taking heed from the opinions of the senior forum members, Ling Jiu decided on a family. Model maglev airship that cost $8.8 .8 billion. This maglev airship was not as large as the government airship, but it still had 200 dot meter. Squared internal space. The cabin design was entirely family dot style with a layout of four bedrooms, two living rooms, one kitchen, and two bathrooms. This meant that with this maglev airship, Ling Jiu could not only use it for hunting but also bring his family and friends for an outing. It was very convenient. 
Besides, it had a weapon system that could kill dire beasts of below class 0.5 and stand class 0.5 dire beasts attack. It could attack and defend itself, definitely a bang.4. Buck model. Ordered. Confirmed. Paid $0.8 billion were deducted from his account. The seller says he will deliver the order by afternoon. Next, I have got to look at the Arcana manuals. Ling Jiu possessed five types of Arcana. Earth manipulation, shadow form, teleportation, gravity manipulation, and tungsten form. Dot right now, there was only the rock giant ultimate manual for the earth manipulation Arcana. There was no manual for the other four Arcana. He did not have the money last time. But he was different now, he had the money and would want to complete his collection of Arcana manuals. First, look at the shadow form. Chapter 70 Shinra Tensei, lavishly elegant you are listening at novel full dot audio. There were few manuals about shadow form in the mall. The shadow shift was the only manual under the ultimate shadow form arcana. Shadow shift. The manual of the ultimate arcana, the use of which will enable you to move at 20 dot fold speed in shadow shift state. Price. One billion dollars. Shadow shift is a manual about high dot speed movement. 20 fold speed isn't bad at all. It was a nice dot to dot have. Ling Jiu shook his head slightly. He had teleportation ability that could make him move a hundred meters in the blink of an eye. So spending one billion dollars on shadow shift was pretty meaningless to him. Gravity Arcana If shadow form was regarded as a special arcana to which few had awakened and of which the manuals were few, then gravity arcana should be deemed as a conventional arcana. Why was that? Because most Earth.type arcanists would usually gain the gravity arcana when they reached level 6. So most advanced Earth.type arcanists possessed the gravity arcana. The more people capable of the gravity arcana, the more manuals of the gravity arcana existed. So there were 50 manuals of ultimate gravity arcana found. Shinra Tensei The ultimate arcana manual, changing the direction of gravity force, using reversed gravity force to bounce off objects and attack. Price. One billion dollars. Gravity drill. The ultimate arcana manual, manipulating gravity force to form into a drill to inflict destructive damage on targets internal. Price. One billion dollars. Gravity shackle. As Ling Jiu browsed through the ultimate arcana manuals, an oddly named arcana manual, the Shinra Tensei, attracted his attention. Apparently, the author of the Shinra Tensei must be a fan of the manga series Naruto. So much so that he even named his arcana after the skill in the manga series. But this was totally understandable. His Shinra Tensei was like the Shinra Tensei of Naruto in that he manipulated the gravity force around him to bounce off objects and attacks. This is a pretty handy defense ability. I will take it. Ling Jiu had decided. He ordered and paid. Next up, tungsten form. He continued searching. According to the veteran forum members, there was no manual for body dot changing arcana like tungsten form, tyranno dot form, and gigantization. Because these arcana were of close dot quarters combat, so there were only manuals on close dot quarters combat. It was about how to kill a target quicker and more ruthlessly with maximum power. Ling Jiu tapped on the ultimate category. Typhoon Kick, Wave Surfer Fist, Realgar Kick. Eightfold Rolling Thunder. The ultimate close dot quarters combat arcana manual, famous for its fearsome, brute dot force, powerful attack. At the pinnacle of its cultivation, it has eightfold more energy with extremely destructive power. Price. One billion dollars. Ling Jiu had light in his eyes. It feels like eightfold rolling thunder is tailored. Made for my tungsten form. Eightfold rolling thunder was fearsome, but it would also strain the physique. Without enough tenacity, one could easily get over. Exhausted. But apparently, Ling Jiu did not face such a side effect. 
Was there anything tougher than a tungsten dot formed body? The answer was no. Buy. Must buy. Ordered and paid. Another one billion dollars spent. At last, he set his eyes on teleportation ability. Teleportation was a rare type of dimensional arcana. There were only few manuals for it, let alone the ultimate manual. It did not evoke Ling Jiu's interest at all. He would not buy without the ultimate manual. I have bought an 8.8. billion dollar maglev airship, a 1. billion dollar Shinra Tensei, and a 1. billion dollar eightfold rolling thunder. That's 10.8 billion dollars, money really burning a hole in my pocket. Ling Jiu sighed. He spent money as quickly as he earned it. He felt he needed to make more from now on. Otherwise, he would go from riches to rags in no time, and how could he get a wife then? He continued to browse the mall. After all, he had spent so much on himself, and he needed to buy something for his father and younger sister, too. Father is spending all his time and effort in his company, working from morning till night. If he keeps going like that, I am afraid his health will give way. Buying something to enhance his body will be a good idea. Ling Jiu quickly found something. Vitality Fluid Intermediate Gene Potion for Improving Gene Condition, Strengthen Body Organs, Enhance Stamina, and Boost Immune System. Price Two billion dollars. He looked at the vitality fluid and could not help but nod. The body of an ordinary person like his father's would not react to strong potions too well. So the vitality fluid was the most suitable thing for him. It could not only enhance his stamina but also boost his immune system. Get one for my sister, too. He spent four billion dollars on two bottles of vitality fluid. After that, there were still $77.5 billion in his account. He thought for a moment and bought a maglev car as his father's birthday gift. His father's birthday was just a few days away. I wasn't so strong last time. Spending too much could attract unwanted attention. But now I am a different man. I could defeat a level 0.5 arcanist. People would think twice before targeting us. While practicing the arcana manipulation at dusk, his phone rang. Mr. Ling, I am a staff member from Pangu Delivery. Your orders have arrived. Could you please come downstairs to receive it? That quick. Ling Jiu was overjoyed. As he emerged from his mansion, two delivery guys were standing outside, behind them a medium dot sized truck. Hi. Mr. Ling. He signed the delivery order and accepted the goods. After the two delivery guys left, Ling Jiu put the USB stick that contained Shinra Tensei in eightfold rolling thunder, and the maglev car for his father into the dimensional pocket, then test drove his new maglev airship. Just then, his father and younger sister arrived home. It stunned them to see a maglev airship parked up in front of the house. Brother, this is. His younger sister asked. A newly arrived maglev airship. Ling Jiu smiled. A maglev airship. You bought it. His younger sister was startled. I heard it was incredibly expensive. The cheapest model costs few billion dollars. How could you afford this thing? Don't you underestimate your brother. Ling Jiu was very proud. Let me show you inside. Number 9, open the hatch. Ling Jiu issued an instruction to the maglev airship. Yes, sir. The maglev airship door slowly hissed open at the sound of a pleasant synthesized voice. Xiao Tong, Dad, go on. Take a look. Wow. His younger sister exclaimed in awe as she scurried inside. His father nodded with a complicated expression on his face. When he got inside, he was awestruck. A spacious, luxurious living room. The mirror dot like tiles. The splendid chandelier. The imported branded sofa. The beautifully crafted bookcase. Everything in the cabin was lavishly elegant. Are you sure this is the cabin of an airship, not someone else's mansion?